This is how we're starting off the day, guys. Flopsy and Mopsy have locked themselves in the goat house while Fern is out here. Isn't that just great? <laughs> back to the vlog today is november 1st um still no babies from fern and i'm just about to let the girls in here to eat their grain and get on the milk stand so here we go some hoof trimmers so I tested them out yesterday on Flopsy so they work pretty good so we're gonna do Mopsy and hopefully Fern right now so we'll see <laughs> vlogs but I realized that they would go outside for alfalfa instead of me sitting here chasing them like herding them out of the barn so to speak and so it just goes easier that way um one thing that happened the other day was that fern normally I put their leashes like on this little thing right here well fern decided to uh take off this side so it's a bit wobbly and stuff like that. Hopefully it doesn't do too bad. But then my other thing that I want to try and do is do like a single milk stand instead of double like this. Um, more so so I can do all three at the same time, kind of. I know when that when they're like producing milk and stuff like that, I'll do one at a time. But right now I'm just going to do them separately or do them all at the same time instead of separately when they are actually producing milk just because I don't I know I'll probably get fast enough to do all at the same time but I don't because they Mopsy and Flopsy eat the grain like they inhale it like there's no tomorrow so one thing I worry about is Mr. Elliot I know he's been a troublemaker jumping fences and stuff like that but I've realized he doesn't eat very much so I don't know what's going on with him, but this is normally Midnight's bucket, but he's over here eating all of that, all of Elliot's bucket. So I don't know if, I don't know if he's like depressed or what. So I've been watching him and stuff like that. Um, just because I'm worried about him, even though he is a big pain in the butt sometimes, I'm worried about him because I don't know, he just doesn't seem to eat as much as he used to. So I don't know quite what's going on with that, so we'll see. So actually today has been like one of the nicest days in like a few weeks. Um, it has been getting to like below freezing during the night and stuff like that. And so it's just been... Cold. <laughs> so today's actually feeling nice so maybe we'll be outside for a little bit longer and soaking up the sun and stuff like that I just came to show you guys here are some I'm guessing deer prints there's quite a few of them and stuff like that so I wonder it's probably trying to find some 
do something. I don't know. But here I got my my staked out chicken coop. So I'll, I'll show it from you from farther away. But so here it is. We got the chicken coop slash duck coop. That's gonna go from here all the way over. It's a 10 by 20 um, coop and stuff like that. And then these farther ones and stuff like that are going to be where the fence is. So I told my husband I wasn't gonna stake it out or do anything until like the springtime, you know, wait a little bit more and stuff like that, get some finances put away for it and stuff like that. But one of those things, I just all of a sudden just decided to come at least stake it out, see how big it was. Cause originally I was gonna do just the, the run and the coop at just the 10 by 20 and stuff like that and then you know just leave it like that but then i did it and i was like this is actually like kind of small and i don't want like a lot of chickens and ducks but i do i at least want maybe 20 chickens 20 ducks kind of thing so that's why i made the a bigger run is supposed to be 30 by 30 and stuff like that and so That'll work. I do, some parts of me wants to keep a rooster and a drake, which is the boy chicken and duck, and maybe hatch some chickens and ducks. We'll see. For now, I just want to be able to get eggs and stuff like that from them. Um, obviously, I haven't even got a coop up, so I'm not, I'm not even ready for them yet. But um, eventually, I would like to just get eggs from them and stuff like that and just go from there um potentially probably sell them because i know we won't make or eat that many eggs um and things like that back in the barn but only for a short short minute but i do want to make that single milk stand but i'm not quite sure i have enough wood to make it all of it today and um, stuff like that so I don't know what I want to do so here's how big roughly the single one I'm gonna do um obviously yeah I have to put everything together and make it <laughs>